Kipling Naga van den Gelie has been so good that any time new OC of narcotics in Nagaba is being posted, he always visits Naga because of the relationship between Naga and the NDLE. Dr. Boniface of the Chukwa Devonam. I will give my hand to you. That will tell you the relationship between Nagaf and NDLA. It didn't just start today. It has been long and we will try our best to nurture it and keep the relationship going. Yeah, Papa. We will try as much as we can to make your job seamless when it comes to freight forwarding business and Nagav people in particular. Nagav has a whole lot of young freight forwarders. But the truth of the matter is Nagav is a family. And the family has culture. And you must align with the culture of the family. That is where Nagaf is different. I will assure you by years, no Nagaf freight forwarder has been found wanting in one way or the other concerning drugs. I will put that hand to And uh, we will keep the same way. It is not easy when you have so many people to manage them. We we'll look at how we manage our families. Then when we have people from far and there are different tribes. But we're striving. Not like I said, we have not recorded any drug-related issue in Naga, and we will never do that. So, Mr. Abel, I'm standing here to give you, assure you of all the support from Nagaf while you work as the Commander Narcotics in Akopa. You are welcome to your entire Thank you very much.
government is very worried about the drug problem as it is now. I don't have to ask you, but if I ask some of you, 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 may, you may not have gone to your village in the last one of years. You have surrendered your village because of certain things that happened there. For some other people who go to the village, they go with a drug load of security men because of the bad boys that have taken over most communities and villages in Nigeria. There might be other factors. There might be other factors that instigate the crime and criminality that happen in our communities that you don't have the drug. If you go to the east, you're here of the Kumbi. If you go to the north, you hear of Tabawiwi. Even Kurumiri has also gone there because they list now with the, they, they say the Igbo is not strong enough, so they have to add methamphetamine to make it strong enough. There's no part of Nigeria that I don't have it. Our duty is ensuring to, to ensure, it is to ensure that we police effectively the waterways. There's no way we can be at a purpose policing the waterways without the cooperation and partnership of members of this great association. We are happy to hear that so far, so good. Nobody, no member of this family has become one of those that have had challenges with the position of drugs. But at the end, as we say, it is the one that is inside the womb of the monkey that I can swear for. No, so? Yes. Because the one that the monkey is carrying on the back can use the hand and cut one banana and hide it, and the mother may not know. I'm trying to say that people society has a fair share of violence. And so, it is not time to begin to celebrate that Nagav is free. Let us remain on our toes. Let us keep the light beamed so that eventually that anybody that is training we can bring the person back to the right path. In recent times, there have been reports of reasonable quantity of drugs trying to leave the shores of Nigeria to their homes. When you look at the quantity, it becomes a thing of consign. These drugs, some of them are not produced or manufactured in Nigeria. So where are they coming from? To go to the airport and try to leave the shores of Nigeria. We are not accusing businessmen on the waterways, but it's a team of consign. A team of consign. If these drugs are not produced here, and they have come here in very large quantities and trying to get out. Let us put on our binoculars to identify where the situation is coming from. And that is where we are here. And so we will need Nagaf. To be alert. We also need you we are worried at the fact that some of you go into businesses without knowing, knowing the code now. Either the consignee or the importers. So many times we make a rep for being in a registration and we hear that the consignee is not known to you. There's a question mark. I want to appeal to you. Our Lord talks about possession. You will see possession of it. And so, if you do not know the consignee, the law assumes that you are the owner. Yes. You are the owner? Yes. Again, that is the position of the law. And so, we let us adopt the know your customer approach. Gentlemen. If 
we make the mistake to focus only on making money. The kind of money that will not allow you to have your peace, allow you to go back to your communities. Then, like the Bible will say, your own blessings, sorrow is added unto it. And so, let us look beyond the carrots that is done good away. When importers bring their businesses for us to help them do. Some of the people and some of the businesses that you do may not be businesses that will be in the interest of national security. They are aware that some other group of people have also produced ways of identifying our commitment by the <coughs> And so, design your own way. Let the importer on paper tell you this is what I have important. Somebody's going to say they will take the business and give another. It is better you lose it than losing your case. I'll tell you the story of the job that we are doing. The man used the license different person. Um, so, many, so many of you are very casual when it comes to the licenses. Somebody wants to clear something. No the license. What's my percentage? You don't know what is clear. You need to bring your license. And the guy collected a different person's license, used another person's <coughs> account number to raise, to generate the format. Pay the man that use the account commission of fifty thousand naira. At the end of it all, there is a problem. The account was used. So can you tell government that you don't have knowledge of what you processed? Can you? No. Difficult. It is your license that is brought to process the clearance of that cargo or whatever. You are liable. And the way, apologies to the judiciary, the way things go ahead of morality, of integrity, and the relation gaze involved, you might become vulnerable, you might know, you lose your peace. Of course, in every family of 100 people, if one person is doing drugs, the peace of that family is lost. So all hands will be on deck. All hands will be on deck. Yes, apart from coming to know, to meet you as a member of one family, we have come also to say, can we set a date so that we can come and sensitize you? We need to allow you, to enable you to know what you can do and how you can partner with them daily. One, to save this country of the virtually. Two, to ensure that we also have peace in the of business. Some of you may not be aware of how and what we do when it comes to our questions. They say NDLA is delayed, NDLA is wasting time. Our delay, our time wasting is in the interest of you as an individual and the nation in general. Because when those draws come in, only God knows what will happen. And the president say this is a, a large family. We want to partner with you to give something back to our family. How? Oh, thank God. Uh, I've had a reference here. There's a reference here. Yeah. There is an evangelist. Yeah. I'm sure there is an imam here too. <laughs> we can talk to your, your mosque. We can talk to your church. We can talk to schools around here. They say it's teaching time. That boy in that secondary school, probably if he had the information that we can provide, might not make the mistake with the other family. And so we want to task you on give us a date, and then invite some schools. Come there with the Nagat program. We just come here to some person and let's pack it. This year, we want Naga to be in front so that NDA can follow.
you are going to the school, if you like, you can brand your t-shirts produced by Naga, you can brand face caps or whatever. We will guide you and you can go to schools with wide publicity so that the world can hear. So that the world can hear. As far as Naga is concerned, you know, the war against drug abuse and trafficking on the one. Mr. President, keep your doors open. Give me your reason. Yes, you can't come here. <laughs> Without wasting your time, I can assure you. In fact, I was delighted too when you mentioned the risks involved in somebody, a freight forwarder, using his name or his company name to open from air for somebody, to secure goods for somebody. The contents of the container, the person does not know. And that's the worst risk any person can take. It's the, the, the worst risk any great forwarder can take. And it is on that note that I'm also standing here to sound a note of warning or a note of advice to our members to always avoid using your own company's name to open a form M for somebody. Because if anything comes in that is security threat, that is a security threat, of course, you don't expect the reporter to come out and say it's the owner. He will deny you. He will deny you. Even the founder has, our founder has been and the same things telling us not to, for whatever reason, use our company's name to open a form M for anybody. So now that you have recorded it, and I think it is now 